Hey everyone. I think I'm good to go here. I'm just gonna test out my mic, make sure it's working. I got the chat open, make sure all the levels are okay, and then we're good to go. Okay. It's time for another Batman episode. What can you say about the last one? I mean, as with the whole series so far, I feel like episode 3 was decently well written. Some stuff I didn't maybe love, but some stuff I thought was pretty interesting. I liked the direction they were going, the twist with Vicky Vale, I was totally down with it. But man, so, I mean, the story for this game has just become the performance for me. It's just, it's just been next level broken, even by Telltale standards. Um... I've got a hot water bottle here, by the way, because it's absolutely fucking freezing here in in Limerick in good old Ireland. So apologies if I'm adjusting my breasts throughout this broadcast. It is not tit adjustment, I swear. It is hot water bottle adjustment because it is freezing. Anyway, uh, the story of this game has been the performance. I'm done hoping. I'm not going to go into this episode saying, I hope Telltale pulled it together for this one. I have no aspirations or no hopes or no assumptions that they're ever going to do that. So, uh, fuck it. Let's just play the fucking game. It's probably going to crash on me at least once. Uh, based on how this whole thing has gone so far. So, whatever. Whatever. Let's just play it and whatever happens, happens. Bruce and Batman must forge new alliances and fight old rivals to protect the innocent and keep Gotham from descending into chaos. By the way, everyone, they just straight up showed in the trailer that Joker is in this episode, which would have been a cool fucking surprise. And maybe you're not happy that I spoil that. For, maybe some of you watching this didn't know that, but it would be disingenuous for me to go through this playthrough and then go, oh, what a reveal. I... As if I'm not already pissed off enough with some stupid little mistakes this this series has made, I couldn't believe when I watched Episode 4's trailer and just there's Joker, just in the middle of it. Episode 3 ended on a cliffhanger. I shouldn't even really... They shouldn't have even... I don't even know if they should have been a big trailer. There probably should have been like a teaser with no significant gameplay footage. I'm already complaining about this game. Fuck it, let's just jump in. I always, I don't want to go into any game with the mindset of, oh, I'm playing this because it sucks. I'm playing this because it's funny to watch people on YouTube get mad at a game. That's really not what I'm, I'm, I'm not intentionally going for that. This, this series has fucking bombed me out big time. Uh, let's get cracking here. I'm going to turn my mic off for the opening video. But I am just going to quickly plug it on Twitter, tell everyone to jump in the chat. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. I do not remember that conversation. I, re I remember all the Two-Face shit in the last episode confidence. and being very Wayne jarred by it. Needs a new face. Oh, yeah, there was this thing. Oswald Cobblepot. Forgot about You're that. the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. Let me know if anything comes up. You're a good man, Bruce. I think you may have misinterpreted things. I th oh. <laughs> I don't want to start on the frame Sorry. rate stuff already, but oh my god. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce? Oh my god. <laughs> There's that animation that didn't play last time, and I yelled very loudly about it. <laughs> you should come stay with me. I'll think about it. It's pen. just, it's... It's, not... it's just so ridiculous how 
during montages like this. And it's in all the Telltale games. These these opening montages and, and the closing montages of what's on the next episode. It's always the same in these I in these games. They can life. barely fucking hold themselves together and it's crazy. And I mean I understand I the difficulty of jumping between Arthur. scene and scene and there's lots of variables in these games depending on your choices. But it's fucking ridiculous. Like they've been doing this for years. They've had an upgrade in hardware. I realize they're still putting this out on the PS3, the Batman game. But come on! Like, it's it's really, like, inexcusable. I'm sticking to my word. I'm not, I'm not buying any more Telltale games. I swear to God, if you see me tweeting about them, feel free to yell at me or tell me I'm an idiot. Because I I should want to stick to my guns on this one. Alright, let's jump in here. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> oh, I pummeled the shit out of Oswald. What doctor? The crazy house doctor. You're an Arkham, you idiot. For the world's greatest detective, you are not you are not perceptive. Oh, was I trying to fucking Batman punch my way out? Looks I'm not like Batman, by the way. Angry. Lovely. Or maybe it was like Killer Croc or someone. Whoa, what the hell happened? Was I coughing up blood or what the shit? Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. I guess the alternative is what? You fucking murdered someone and that's why you're in here? From from the... I'm guessing from that flashing sequence that... Uh, that I annihilated oh, the so shit cool. out of Oswald. Fucking pummeled the hell out of him. Which would be funny, I mean, I guess he was willing to take that beating for the children of Arkham. I mean, I guess that would make sense. That he's willing to take it just to see Bruce Wayne suffer in the long run. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how badly we fucked him up. Ooh. Still, still on the drugs. Better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water? Piss? Rat poison? I've been asked for some rat before. poison. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Great. Time for a fight scene that I'm sure is going to have a tremendous frame rate and be extremely responsive and everything's going to be are. super because I am positive. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? You didn't come off, to be Somebody's honest. Gotta pay for that. Didn't talk about it at Christmas or Thanksgiving, I, I guess. God, there is a hell. I want your daddy to see what I do. To I'm sick of this. Fuck you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not. But you're the next best thing, Wayne. Oh, come on. I can't use my Batman skills. There we go. There we go. Oh, wait. Leg kick. Nice. Uh -oh. oh, what a place to get it. Jeez. The welcoming committee has really gone downhill around here, hasn't it? What the? Churlish. Not nice. 
How do you like it? You are pathetic! <laughs> oh, God, right away, huh? Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? Poor, perhaps. Does it look like I'm okay? <laughs> Not one bit. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. Like, the new guy is tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? What Bruce, are you... is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I was all blur. <sighs> they don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. It seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, I'm just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. All right. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? You just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> I get it. I get it. The laugh, yeah, I get it. So, like, that was an interesting little proposition there. Trust him or trust her. Like, like go with his story or, or say, no, he's lying. Because it's like, he saved your ass, so instinctively you want to align with him. But this is Telltale, and everyone's a fucking traitor. And plus, it's the fucking John Joker. John is one of our most improved patients. He's oh, been really? with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, In yeah. I'm not a Batman so lore expert, but typically when Joker is doing well, it's all a ruse. He's he's he's, he's not getting better. He's just leading you along. There's not enough black tiles. You hear me? There's too many white tiles. Bruce in Arkham Asylum is an interesting concept. Um, you know, Doc, our last session was so enlightening. That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself then. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. Oh, I yeah, I'm gonna get crabs. Yeah. I want a taste! <laughs> Just inexplicably drifting, regardless of what I did with the, with the left stick. Some of these guys he just, bite. Whatever. Now I am just being nitpicky. Also, that jump scare of the audio cue was the out first of whack. time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well... <laughs> no, no, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> Like this it. is about as well-rounded a representation of the mentally ill as you can expect from Batman. Use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. I like I'll come by to check to on John. you two later. Don't Sorry. worry about us, Dr. Leland. Take good care of him. So does Batman know the Joker? I get the vibe that he doesn't... Like, I get the vibe that this is, like, their first meeting in this universe. Um, cause, because even though he did that big smile, that was more of a wink at the audience. Like, hey, you know it's the Joker. Uh, Bruce didn't react like, oh, I know it's the Joker. Um, so I guess maybe he doesn't. 
That's that's a weird position to put the audience in because we know, and so we're not going to want to trust him. But maybe Bruce will. I, Welcome to Arkham you know. Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> oh, look at this cast of characters. But everyone's friendly, mostly. Guardian of Gotham. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. Zaz and the Hover Master guy. You know, the, the prone Venturist. to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, Bruce! You've that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? It's a key of some kind of variety. It looks like it's from a 19th century house. What are you doing, brother? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. All righty, no That's mind knives. Oh, I can use it to... Okay, that's interesting. Crumbs. That's Get this <laughs> yes, Arnold Wesker. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Alrighty. Uh... Tell me about what John Doe. can you tell me about, uh... John Doe. John? Uh, nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? Mm. Yeah. Alrighty. Not you. Sorry. Pretty Sorry. standard fare for um it's it's for Joker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not really crazy, you know. In case you were wondering. Mm -hmm. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. I guess yeah, we right. can bond over that. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. You're here, asshole. Uh. Sure. Alrighty then. Okay. Good stuff. We're getting to. Oh shit. Did I, did I only have a limited amount of time? Boy, you missed me. I didn't get to. I missed you. I didn't get to speak to everyone. Oh, maybe he's just gonna chill, and I can still, I can still do stuff. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything. Good on, is there? Okay, cool. I can still move around. I want to talk to Victor Zaz. I want to talk to the big freaky dude. Is that is this Killer Croc or <sighs> Batman? Really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. Oh, he was. Oh, I can give the key. I can betray Joker right away. I'm not gonna do that, obviously. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, I fought him. Yeah, in like episode one or some shit, didn't I? Or am I imagining? I can't remember. What's that? All right, Zaz. You're gonna do some crazy stabbing. He cheats. Every time he cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you. 
If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. It's fair. This probably this is probably a pretty interesting place to read minds, I must say. Hey, Zaz. Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> This was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. Mm. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. Bye, Zaz. Talk to you again, most likely never. I suppose I can give the key to the nurses as well, but let's use the fucking key. The right key for this. All right, there was a a, 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 a watch him call it. There was a, a chest over this way. So let's go over it this way. It'd be pretty funny if John Doe wasn't Joker. Um, that'd be an interesting twist. Like he's a copycat or he's a fan or some shit. There's no, okay. There. Okay, I, I guess it's a uh, it's a save it for later key. Let's talk to to Big J D here. It didn't work. <laughs> Of course not. Take a sip of tea here. Hold That's up. not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's... That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Skytrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears. But this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Uh oh. <laughs> Double crossing two faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. He oh, betrayed well. me. You had a good run, right? He is the reason I am in here. I can't believe he did this. Quite the temper on you. I have one too. <laughs> in which you know Dent what? I really hope special enforcement squad that this is Joker's capacity in this series. Threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists as this bizarre pile of drugs dodgy and their leader. This lady voice of chaos on your shoulder. Strike again. Now, there's no point having him be a villain. They have enough villains, television. you know. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug. Terrorists. Plus, there's been enough Joker villain stories drugs. to last a lifetime. I'm going to expose your corruption. Won't someone save my baby? This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Yeah, that's his sense of humor. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicky Vale after her mysterious disappearance uh -huh. earlier this week. That chick. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady. Right, Bruce? Wait. You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically. Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. 
When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cubs hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. It was just pump full of her drugs. Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Mm, I don't know about that now. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably so maybe too. he's gonna be a part of the Children of Arkham it's in some capacity. That's why Vicky hates you. They, they might be his dad drugs. Help bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham, Victoria, Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Oh, Surely boy. you can relate. No, I, no. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm nothing like I'm her. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but... You're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, well, yeah. I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. Yeah. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I can... uh, assume I can take care of that. But it's going to come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a Ah, oh, God. Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again. Can't we? All right, tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. Oh God, what's the what's this distraction gonna that be? Phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Who am I calling? What? Like hey, he just said, the Zaz, Waynes can make a call or some shit. Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bet. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Ah! No! No, 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 I don't match. Oh, God, I don't match! Oh, you can shit. fix that right now! Shit. Skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Oh. Need to... Need to oh. get rid of it! Why, why wouldn't he kill Joker who just stabbed him? Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Right. Run, Brucey! Run! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, this is tough. <laughs> Why would I... Oh, shit. <clears throat> Stop the fighting! Be a good guy! This is what good guys do. Something tells me that buying into Joker's little uh, game of, of uh, 
of making the call would then mean that down the line you'd have to make some fucking terrible choice where he would get out. Um, <laughs> I'm not quite sure how he fits into this one. Eddie Grizzly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle so of So it makes no difference that I tried to stop it. People still got fucked up. All right. I tried to stop it. The, the whole thing was that sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. Having him here creates an unsafe environment. So, His like, it didn't even matter if you made the call, you get out in the next scene anyway. Seems you like. have a visitor. Oh, telltale. Alfred. Ah, oh, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in Been better. order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation, treatment. I'll get a second opinion is a nice smarmy retort. I think I'll get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Damn right. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> His hands weren't even bound together by anything. They didn't even bother to fucking draw in some handcuffs, for fuck's sake. Um, I guess go to the graveyard, check out the Arkham's grave. Or the Vale's grave, oh, rather. I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I can turn that. So many people angry at me. Entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. this fucking guy. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. Not gonna say Maybe you haven't that. heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, great. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. Oh, he sounds like such a, a baby. A real man wouldn't have done that. I was interested in her. A friend wouldn't have done that. Harvey, listen to me. I know what you think happened, but Selena and I are just friends. Period. Don't tell me what I think happened. You're a goddamn liar. Uh oh, I'm gonna start telling him. I'm gonna start telling him like it is. <laughs> We're done talking. How long are those things? Is that shit gonna affect me? She give me a concentrated dose or something? What's going on here?
Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! <sighs> of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart! I'm tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Not Bruce, what I picked, but whatever. Up, Alfred, I can handle this! Okay, he's on drugs, but... Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! Ugh. They should lock you up! Oh, I'm like oh. a half hour in, and I already feel like every decision oh, I've made sorry. is just completely irrelevant. And they're they're going to use the drugs to, to excuse it. Mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag. Next one won't be a warning shot. All right. Now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded. Hmm? And well armed. What do you say? Will I fuck give you money, you fucking prick? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back hey, my car, you asshole. Bruce, ram, ram the barricade! It. This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred! Don't say Batmobile out loud, you fucking idiot. There's people standing right there! Jesus Christ, Alfred. Not his best moment. <laughs> yeah, the the, the uh, if they're gonna use the whole drug thing to excuse the fact that your decisions have nothing to do with anything. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news, yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Mm. Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah, I mean, that seems yeah. kind of evident. Nothing I mean, even really happened. Not like he thinks, anyway. I'd rather not die for something I didn't even do. Is that your way of He's saying dangerous. you want us to bang so it's worth it? You understand, don't you? Fine, get out I, of here. Uh, I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. So where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. Yeah, thanks. Still trying to flush these fucking drugs out of my system from the last episode. I mean, a couple of days ago. I'm not Batman. Loading, loading. This is the loading song. I'll get a few verses in before the next scene. There we go. I get it, I get it. He's still feeling the effects. <laughs> like, I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Really, what gave it away? You've seen the way it's still affecting Harvey. He's a paranoid wreck. 
Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. <sighs> I don't have time to rest. You'll be no good to anyone if you can barely keep your feet under you. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Alrighty. Okay, time for a telltale minigame. This thingy. is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. And this is my DNA. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. Oh, this is weird. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We oh, this is weird. I'm not sure what I'm doing. For that. <laughs> That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Uh... Um... Oh, wait, wait, no, no, okay, um, that's right, okay, now, uh, is this also right? No, this is not right. That's right, and there we go. I was worried I was going to be here for a while with that one. That should do it. Yes, take it. Oh, God, I hate when Telltale Games do that. Like, it's not an important action that you need me to... <sighs> To, to, to animate and, and do myself. Work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Ooh, gross. I'm alright with this, though. Look at this. Oh. That's slightly intense, so. You alright, Bruce, buddy? There you go. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? Go to bed. First things first, I need to know what Vicky Lady Get Arkham burger. has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. She's a monster. To do what she did. She has no sense of morality. She was playing me the entire time. Breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Sure seems unlikely now, Batman based on how deep we are in the story. Station, it seems really unlikely that, that, that there's going to be a swerve in relation to, to Bruce's drugs. dad. Well, if that's true, like he's she's just an actual more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Mm. No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that that's the main thing. He knew she, she knew was that Lady Vicky Arkham. Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. <sighs> Seems like it's obviously a something trap. we can ignore, trustworthy or not. Like, like, totally how right. would he know that if, if not for I the fact that he's involved? Planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vale still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. I gotta go get my drink here. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. <laughs> 
I mean, if I was to guess, they wanted you, it's all part of an elaborate Batman villain plot. They wanted you to go to Arkham to meet Joker, who's their secret agent, to tell you to go to her parents where they're going to spring a trap on you or something. Like, I I realize Joker's thing is he's mysterious and he knows more than he, he, he lets on. But I don't see how he knows this extremely secret thing about her parents. Why would he go as Batman? Isn't that gonna? <laughs> if Joker found out that Batman showed up at the Vale's I'm place, the veil ah, I'm overthinking it now. Fuck it. Just having a Mr. Plinkett moment. Or, oh fuck it. Why am I still talking about this movie? Oh shit. Oh Jesus. What the fuck? Someone gouge out her eyes or some shit? Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Jesus Christ. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Mm. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Okay, obviously this goes here. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Calling her Lady Arkham is weird in the sense that it's like her gimmick name. She's still Vicky Vale. Although, is she a family mean, photo? I don't know. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Okay, I have nothing to link that to currently, so we will explore the house a little bit more. Uh, what do we got here? Knife. It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Defense. She tried to defend herself. W wanted to butter something. <laughs> I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Okay, so that's the knife. Knifey gimmick. See, you've played knifey spoony before. Knifey hairy. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Alrighty, so they, they I guess they started fighting in here and, and ended up where they ended up. Okay, I think that's everything. I think I can go through here. Or not. Yeah, there we go. Batman. Alfred oh! Found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. No. As if, imagine. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. So there's Looks your logo. Like a company logo. Hanged the belt even. buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. This is grim. This is fucking. Gr Wait, what does the belt buckle. Hmm. Let's link the logos first, and then we'll see what the belt buckle is. Um. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district, and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Mm. Alrighty. Let's see if we can find something that matches the... Uh, Something what's this? Oh, that's the belt. Okay. Let's see if we can find something that goes with the belt buckle. 
It's a letter from Gotham Social Services. No, it's not. It's a bunch of blocky nonsense. Foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. Mm. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. She fucking murdered her adopted parents. It's grim. Although, I guess she ain't exactly a, uh... She ain't exactly a hero, so I guess that makes sense. Um... Oh, this, why is this control so weird? So it's, it's it's like the it's like a um, survival horror game on the PS One where the fixed camera angles means as it switches angle, it takes a second to adjust to the controls. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Okay, this is the belt Wait. buckle thing. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Was she swinging something the throne? Belt buckle? Nothing I can see. She's swinging the belt buckle like a freaking lasso or something. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? She fucked them up, is the short version. After we Alfred. stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. Jesus Christ. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt. Crashed on me, everyone. The game fucking crashed on me again. Oh, man. What do you say? I, I'm, I feel like, I mean, I feel like. When I was playing episode 3, I feel like I burned through all the things I could possibly say about this. But, um... God damn. So, if you're watching the archive of this, you're just going to see one long video. Obviously, I'm going to stitch it all together. Um, uh, but for those of you who are maybe watching live, maybe you're just jumping in now. I was streaming this yesterday. I jokingly said, obviously it's going to crash, because the last two have crashed halfway through the episode. Although part of me was hoping it wouldn't, but it did, in fact, crash. I think I was about an hour in. I don't even know if I was an hour in. I think I might have been less than an hour in. Um, I don't know, man. This is the disappointment of the year for me. Um, and I know that's weird in a year where No Man's Sky came out and all that everyone wants to talk about is No Man's Sky and how it didn't live up to the hype, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like at the core of this game, there's an interesting Batman story. And as someone who likes Batman and is really in the market for a new, different, fresh take on Batman. Just readjust the camera here. And I feel like this game might be offering it to me. And the fact that the game is just so fucking broken that I can't enjoy it. Um, that is a bummer. And I really, really hate it. I really, really, really do. And this is, I mean, this is it for me and Telltale. I, I want, like, to come back to this, it's going to have to be universal reports across the board. That they scrapped their old engine. What they've got is completely different. Everything's better. Uh, you know, it ain't going to be one or two people telling me on Twitter or one reviewer saying, I thought, it, for me, it was pretty good. Like, I, I, this thing needs to be, you need to be able to, like, 
the buzz needs to be inescapable. Like, whenever they do their Marvel shit, whenever that is, the Guardians game they, they announced, if that comes out and everyone says, oh my god, it's just, you know, revolutionary thing, new engine, it's not on the PS3 or 360, it's exclusive to the new systems. If, if it gets blow away buzz like that, I'll come back, but man, for, for the foreseeable future, obviously I'm going to play Episode 5, I got this deep in the season, uh, so I'm not going to give up, but after this season, I'm, I am done with Telltale, like it is so embarrassingly bad, um, and obviously prior to the crash, if you're watching this on the archive, you'll have seen, uh, you know, it's, it's still running like shit, it's not just the crash, everything, everything is 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 hanging frames and transitions and, and and lag and just audio being out of sync and just everything i mean these are story driven games you need the 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 audio visual presentation should be you know a focus for this game but i'm uh, you know enough enough ranting and raving i feel like i've been fucking ranting about this game more than i've actually been playing it like sitting here on this menu just fucking looking at it broken piece of <laughs> anyway my hair is all over the fucking place Talking about presentation, I look ridiculous. Look at this fucking nonsense. Anyway, that's better. Continue episode four. Please do video game. I haven't even opened the chat yet. Where the hell is my? Where's that goddamn device? I can I can search around for it while while the game is loading because it's going to be replaying a scene I've already played a significant portion of. Because of course it is. Where the hell? Damn, this is taking a while to load. I'm gonna look around here while the fucking thing loads. Uh, where's my tablet? Oh my god, I have to go all the way back to the Vale residence? Jesus Christ! Hang on here, I'm still looking for this damn tablet. Where'd I put it? I'm going on a tour of my house, folks. Where'd I put it? I'm inside the Vale house. There it is. God, sorry, everyone. Got to get this stupid tablet. All right, I'm back. Oh, yeah, I have to walk three frames before it'll play the rest of the cutscene. Because video games. Yeah, dead body. There you go. All right. I got to replay this whole fucking detective scene that I already did. The checkpointing in this game. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there was a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. We'll Checkpointing in this game sucks. This so if you're watching the archive, you've already seen me do this once. Vicky made sure they kept quiet. The basically, the checkpointing, the way it works in this game is pretty much, it'll checkpoint you at the beginning of a scene, but it will not checkpoint you pretty much anywhere else in the scene. So I would say there's like two... There's like at least two sort of milestones within this scene that I've already played. I connected her body to to something. I connected the knife to the hair, and I found the dad's body. You think it would give me a fucking checkpoint when you find the dad's body? Because it's like hidden. The mother's is right here. Her eyes are God gone. damn it! Let me get the chat open here, Stabbed boy. Out. Stop disturbing, raving. Jesus Christ, I'm stressed. Look at the fucking injection. There's mark. an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Um, and there's a syringe in the couch, is it? Yeah. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. And and she's she's escalating. Yeah. This seems personal. All right, he got the chat open. My bad, everyone. That took me a hot second. Connecty, connecty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I skip any of this? Same. No way. Device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Yeah. Okay. Gotta look at this stupid fucking photo. Recent family photo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Alrighty, and so we connect that to the body of the dad, who is in here. Also, the belt buckle t to the wall, and uh, the hair on the ground. Like, I'm gonna try and burn through this as quick as I can, because we've already done Alfred, it. Alfred, 
Um, if it crashes in the same spot again, by the no. way, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not, I'm not playing this game on an infinite loop. If it crashes more than once in the same spot, I don't know what I'm going to do. Looks like a company logo. Fired up about this, everyone, let me tell you. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. Uh-huh. All right. So let's go logo over to the... Come on. Yeah, there you go. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Ah. Uh -huh. Alrighty. So let's look at the stupid hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Connect that to the knife. Oh, I have to, oh, I have to fucking look at the knife first. That oh, it's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Yeah, I wonder. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Alrighty, so we'll go look at the belt mark on the wall. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. All right, Linky Linky, back over to the... So this should trigger the cutscene where we crashed last time. Let's the see how this goes, everyone. The matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Should really fuck these people up, what by the way. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed Why are the shadows on the photo freaking out? What is wrong with this game? Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents. Uh -huh. But only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred. I think someone's still in the house, going to look for a And I'm just standing here chatting to myself. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Is it possible she's under influence of some kind of drug? Clear. Nothing here. In the kitchen where you're standing right now? Yeah, there's nothing going on. Very well observed. There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Oh, the orphan? Or the the other adopted kid? I guess he's not technically an orphan anymore. <laughs> I know who he is. Why'd I ask who he is? It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir... Is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. I got it, Alfred. I got Even it. From the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Where is she?
<laughs> Why isn't that an option? It's gonna be okay. Gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I. I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. Send me to punishment. See, that does help me. Thank you. What we got? Get down. <gasps> oh, well, hello, Vanguard Batman. One. What a pleasure to see you. Penguin. Let me guess. You're trying to figure out our next move. Figure out where the drugs are. Did I get it? That, that really is Vanguard One. That's Vanguard One as fuck. I've got these little back traps all over the city. But I should have known a good double murder would be what brought you out in the open. Ah! <laughs> nice. Way to go, fucking loser. The hell? You're nailing it, Batman. You're doing a great job. Uh oh, uh oh. Why would I say that was stupid? Like, what kind of option is that? Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> uh oh. Don't look. No, don't look the other way as well. No, no. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. Hmm. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Hey, Batman, Batman. I, you know, what if that kid grows up to be the Joker? Oh, my God. He was the only survivor. What if John Doe isn't actually the Joker? It's that kid. Come and on. And he comes back to you and he's like, Let's hey, you owe me one. He saved me. It's not what it looks like, by the way. I didn't do this. I am Batman. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? So no, Vicky Vale, the who cheese. Who's the boy, then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the veils. Oh, I guess on, on this playthrough I didn't find the document the that says he's an adopted kid. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Uh-huh. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is veil oil and heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I'm I've Batman. got something I need to look into. Yeah, they, he must be using Wayne Tech of some variety. What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. Ooh, I can't risk you allowing place. Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Uh-huh. Look, buddy, I've had a long day, all right? 
I was in the insane asylum. I got beaten up. There was a drone. The game crashed. The frame rate sucks. It's been a shitty day. God damn it. So yeah, I guess I guess Penguin must be using Wayne Tech on that drone. Like he's using basically the what he doesn't realize is like Bat Tech against Batman. Um, haven't heard from Lucius in this episode, to my knowledge. Um, maybe that's kind of a stinger or something coming in the final act. Ah, home sweet home. And so your Bat Stunner just didn't work. The stunner, the stunner, Wayne, Wayne, no Wayne. I'll forget Lucius on the line. Bit of JR for you there. Of there course. we go, there's Lucius. Let's get a closer look at you. Mm. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, oh, this is interesting. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Okay. The device, then. Electricity conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tag that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. Bruce, I have Lucius on screen now. Good evening, Bruce. How can I help? I need you to see something. Sending you schematics. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, I am so sorry. I should have caught this, but he snuck right under my nose. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. I I never feel like the asshole lines. I'm gonna say don't blame slackers. yourself. There's no way you could. It's just I know it's a telltale thing to let you be as much of an asshole as you want, but the, the, well, these don't seem like things Batman guilty. would conceivably Looks say to, to his compatriots. Like some sort of bug into your network. Like that's uh, how he's making my equipment malfunction. For now. I understand I giving you the option to be a prick to criminals, because Batman, tank. different iterations of Batman, walk I the line know. differently. But would be Batman's not a dick to Lucius Is there anything for no reason. I can try to work on your firewalls, but if I do anything too Adam. drastic, you'll know we're on to him. I'm entitled to nitpick this game. It keeps fucking breaking on me. I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know what these options Cobblepot are. Cobblepot doesn't know we're on to him. We can't risk losing the element of surprise. I say you do what you need to do as stealthily as possible. Good plan. I'll get on it right away. Thanks, Lucius. Bruce, you're going to want to see this. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. Of course. Some time people to get in the chat. Reports of children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite can go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Great. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city. Or he will be removed. You, you can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. Harvey is scared, paranoid, but he clearly views Batman in a favorable light. Then again, maybe talking to an old friend is what he needs. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable, random. Who knows how he will react either way? Um, I do not get the vibe that I don't think there's going to be a Bruce. I don't think he wants to talk to Bruce. Um, I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily think going as Batman is a great option, but. Hmm. I think we've seen pretty definitively that Bruce is on the with Harvey, so let's, uh, let's go with Batman. Batman saves Bruce Wayne. Yes, about bloody time. I'm sure that was the wrong choice. But I mean, I'm always sure of that. If I, if I recall correctly, yesterday when I was streaming the first half of this, 
Uh, I was pretty bummed out that it, it it felt like there was a lot of decisions where you'd make them, and then immediately Don't in the next scene, up, it would feel counter countered. Uh, if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? I just can't. I just can't second guess myself. We need to talk. Batman. Oh, you scared the hell out of me. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. I don't take pay. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? I mean, I could, but... <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. Calm down, Dent. I just want to talk. Sounds good to me. I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kind of small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? He's your friend, you asshole. Wayne was your friend. He put his faith in you, supported your campaign. He betrayed me! He lied to my face while sneaking around behind my back! Now Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Him and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Mm, I don't know what you necessarily do. Let Seems like flawed logic. Do it. Oh, they at the they at the mansion. What? what did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ! What is he doing? Blast was way bigger than you said. We must have taken out a whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. I bet you you didn't. I That's bet not. What leader does. I feel like I should thank you, seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. I don't care what your end goal was. Even one innocent life is too high a cost. Then you're thinking too small. I doubt the police would see it that way. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. So what did he do? Just blow up a Gordon. city block? Well, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. <laughs> what did you say about Gordon? I got the mayor, don't shoot. Where is he? No, hang on, Batman, hang on! I had to make an example of him to get people to respect. He's on our side. Gordon is on Gotham's side, Harvey. He's fighting for this city too. Oh my God! This game sucks. I, Crime Alley. They took him to Crime Alley. Fucking a pivotal scene, and the audio freaks out. A mile out of sync, just Jesus Christ, man. And here I thought we could work together. No, asshole. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Oh, man. What the hell is this? Mayor Dent says you're getting in the way of protecting the city. Dent's got you brainwashed. No, he's trying to help. The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is do- That was a bit limp, but whatever. Batman. There's been worse scenes in this what game. What a mess. Thank you, Batman. Save the thanks. And explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. 
Come on. Let's hear it. Someone told Dent. I only told you. Dent knows, so someone you talked to told him. Uh, you know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell yeah, let's. Let's figure it out. Come on, man. I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. He's persuasive and he has power. So Dent just has Dent a militia what now? He's doing his best for Gotham. Execution and martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. I guess There's not. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. It's not my job to save him. My job isn't to save him. If he's hurting this city, then he needs to be stopped. <sighs> it's all circling the drain. Dent was a real hope for this city, and now... He's not the man he used to be. Man, yeah, I saw do. the Dark Knight, you guys. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But we gotta start somewhere. The real threat on the streets is still the children of Arkham. They are what Dent is reacting to. And standing in the way of dealing with them, too. The precinct trusts you. The commissioner trusts you. Use that. Direct their focus. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, you don't seem too impressed. We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. Causing the feedback loop. He somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. Here's a device that. I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, uh -oh. and he's not alone. Already? Oh, shit. Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Um, I feel like uh, Penguin getting into the computer is the real threat, so I'm gonna have to go to. Look, I can make do without the manor. They won't find the cave. It's hidden, you know. I mean, I assume it's reasonably well hidden. Let's go to the Enterprises. Um, I need to stop Penguin. Because if he gets into the computer, he you knows everything, right? Cave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. T oh my God! The sound clip just like tried to play again, and the game cut itself off. This. Fucking sucks. Time to get to work. T oh, it's, it's amateur. It's so like shitty. Like I don't know, man. I really wish I was playing like Arkham City or something right now. I'd rather be stealthing around this game, beating people up, than playing this shitty fucking buggy conversation game. <laughs> Lucius, are you there? I'm off site, but I've tapped into the security systems to give us an advantage. I can let you know where Oswald's guards are, and which routes are clear. Cool. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can do that too. Avoid that hallway. More guards ahead. Go right. Wait. Drones ahead. Turn around. Head for the up. I'm opening the doors. Now. <clears throat>
You probably don't need me to say that that was extremely unresponsive. Oh my fucking god. Batman just gets fucking shot to death. Oh my god! Fucking checkpointing in this game sucks ass! Jesus Christ. Come on. Let's try this again. Nice work. God damn. I assume Oswald is in my office. Naturally. Let this this finale, I hope it hope it's a great closer. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? Useless, you you're all bloody useless! Hey, it's the Baron Dead Man! Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah? I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. You seem pretty confident about that. Yeah, well I am. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us! Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Uh-huh. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. So focused on consumer technology. But Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. Why waste our time trying to hack into what... Oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Uh-oh. Trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Not just for fashion. It's very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You got me there. You can't stop us. Watch me. Okay, let's try this then. Oh, here comes a fight in fucking Telltale Land. Wow, your aim sucks, dude. No sound Come effects. On, Show me what you got. Who needs sound effects in your intense fighting scene? No, no sound effects again. My turn. I mean, at least some of the sound effects are working. That's that's a small victory, right? You're pathetic. And of course, this is a good time to have a load. It's nice to break the tension and, and disrupt the flow of the scene uh, with a load because your game sucks ass and you're, you're you're not able to to have a scene go longer than thirty seconds without a load. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. Few more minutes, or your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. You can give us the option to kill him or something? Oh, is this how it feels when you put uh -oh. on a suit? I like it. Great. Uh. 
I'm getting these prompts right and like I'm still scripted to lose the fight. That's always a really disappointing thing in any quick time event. Like, you know. Like, what are these prompts for? You know what I mean? It's like, hit the prompt so that you can get your ass kicked. Haven't you learned yet? I've shut you down. I'm the one with the toys now, Batman. <laughs> Oh, man. Like, that's, that's like, not even just this game. Like, any game that does that. It's like a really... It's a bugbear of mine in terms of game this design to have quick-time events where winning them the doesn't benefit you, you during the cutscene. Like, Batman should be kicking this guy's ass regardless of what tech he has, you know? Also, the game is like struggling to hold itself together during this fight. It's trying to triple H me, but it's not gonna happen. Nice, I triple H'd him. You absolute bastard! Bastard. Oh! Anderson Silva. Oh! <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you psycho! This isn't the end, Batman! You can't stop us! It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It started with you, and it ends with Lady Arkham. Uh, oh, good luck. You'll never find her in time. Where is she? What is she planning? Take the glove off him before the he does something with it. The same as it's ever been. We will open your eyes. The city's hypocrisy will be exposed. Tell me where to find her. Piss off. I'm not telling you anything. When she's ready, she'll find you. Tell me! I won't tell you. Do your worst. Alright, I'll do my worst. Give me some options to fuck him up here. But you can help yourself by talking. I'll stop her either way. I wonder what the uh, Wayne Manor scene looks like. Sure as fuck, no, I'm not going to replay it to find out, though. What the? Just cut me down, mate. Got any evidence? Did Batman leave any evidence? I hope so. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. I hope I made the right call. Sorry. Was this really necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell him Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> yeah. Is that really a stinger? That's not the end, is it? Uh, really? That was... Mm. Wayne Manor's been destroyed before. You know, that, that to me ain't a big... Um... You and 50.2 deny Joker a favor in return. That's pretty cool. I think I think that was probably the toughest... Um, that's probably the toughest choice. Just because it's it's Joker. I, I like that they're calling him Joker, by the way, considering that's not what he's called in, in the game. But um, That's pretty interesting. Um, you know, 50-50 is the desired... You know, if you're making a game like this, you should be shooting 50-50. Did you go along with Joker's plan? You and 34% of players chose to stop the fight instead of taking Joker's advice. 
I would have thought that would be closer to 50. That's pretty tough, but I, you know what? I assume most people would have made the call. I, I think I think if you give people a, you know a Batman video game and offer them a Joker quest line, they're gonna go with it. People, wasn't the other option to pay the guy off? Who would who would pick that? I don't I don't know. Damn, that's a tight one as well. I was even though even though you'd imagine. Um, even though you'd imagine, you know, there's no way you can fix the relationship between Har Harvey or Bruce. I was tempted to try as Bruce. So I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah. That one was tight as well. As far as choices go, you know, decent episode for... Um, for... Uh, getting as close to 50-50 as you'd imagine. Uh, but as I mentioned earlier... Too many choices. That last choice was cool. Uh, seeing the house burning, like okay, that that had real consequences. And I guess episode five, you know, the repercussions we felt. But I felt like so far, um, uh, you know, other than that, I feel like a lot of choices I made were irrelevant. Like you chose not to go along with Joker's plan, but then he starts the fight anyway, and you still have the option to run to the phone, and then it gives you a second choice: go along with his plan or do something else, and then. Literally, the next scene, you're out of Arkham anyway, and his plan was to get you out of Arkham. So it didn't matter whether you used your phone call to get out, or you broke up the fight because you were still out in the next scene regardless. I mean, that's a, that's a telltale issue for forever. Oh, um, uh, yeah. So let's see what happens next time. Fuck no. We got a next time. I assume we do. We usually do. No, no next time vignette? I guess it's the finale, so they're not going to do that. But they usually do. That's Telltale's Batman, everyone. Episode 4. We out of here. Um, at the Barry Lad on Twitter. If you want to suggest some stuff for me to play or, or have any questions or whatever. Uh, I'll be back with this. I guess next month, they've been pretty good, as much as I shit on this game. They've been pretty good at doing one a month. Um... That's something I have to give them credit for. So I guess uh, around Christmas time? I don't know. I'll be back whenever they do another episode. Until then, uh, subscribe for more. Playing some Doom as well on the channel. So check that out. And uh, see you guys in a while.